You ever seen a kid that believes that he's sick all the time and that every little thing is a huge deal and you can't understand why the kid is like that until you meet their parents and realize that their parents are like that and they indulge the kid so every little thing that happens that is wrong they think is some kind of serious ordeal that is life-threatening to them, that the parent is a hypochondriac so they make the kids into a hypochondriac. That's what's going on here. Part of the reason that guns are viewed the way that they are by society is because you have teachers like this that flip out at the mere sight of a thing that they think is a gun. Hey there, fellow tacticians. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring that little notification bell because the more likes and subscriptions I get, the more people see my conservative content, which will make America a better place and angers the dark cyber overlords at YouTube. That was stupid. I know it was stupid. Really stupid. Hey, I just said it was stupid. A nine-year-old boy in Louisiana has now been suspended from school for having a BB gun in his room, not at school, not any, even anywhere near school. They were doing a distance learning thing, and it just happened, and he wasn't like brandishing it, he wasn't threatening anybody with it. What happened is, he was there at his virtual classroom on a webcam with his computer, and his brother comes behind him, and the gun is in his way. So what the boy does is he picks up the gun, and then they can see it on camera. It's been there the whole time. It's been in the room. It just so happened that he picked it up to where it could be seen by the camera. It's amazing that the camera didn't, uh, the, the BB gun, which is not an actual gun, didn't kill any of the students despite the fact that they were miles apart from each other in their own homes. It's a miracle that no one was hurt because this was such a dangerous situation. So anyway, he picks up the gun and he sets it next to a chair and then his teachers threw a fit and, and all of this. And it's in his room though. And they tried to cite a policy that, you're not allowed to have a, a gun anywhere on the school bus or on the school grounds, but the house isn't their grounds. It's their house. Just because you happen to be teaching a kid that is sitting in his bedroom does not make that bedroom your property, nor does it mean that your policies can apply to what goes on in that bedroom. That's not how this works. And so they just fly off the handle about it, wound up suspending the kid, and he wasn't even displaying it intentionally. It was just It just happened to be in his brother's way, and he had to move it, and that's why it happened to be in the camera. It's not even like he was brandishing it or something. And now he has been assigned, a, I'm not making this up, I swear. He has been assigned a social worker because of all this. And this is going on his record because he's suspended now. So they have to put it on his record that he is suspended. And the reason that he is suspended is for having a gun on school grounds, even though it wasn't a gun and it wasn't on school grounds. We have gone bat crap crazy. This is a level of stupid I have not seen in a while, and I do a daily dose of stupid on, well, not a daily basis anymore since we moved to just two days a week, but all of this is happening, and then afterwards, they had all the students write a letter about it. You ever seen a kid that believes that he's sick all the time and that every little thing is a huge deal, and you can't understand why the kid is like that? Until you meet their parents and realize that their parents are like that and they indulge the kids so every little thing that happens that is wrong they think is some kind of serious ordeal that is life-threatening to them. That the parent is a hypochondriac so they make the kids into a hypochondriac. That's what's going on here. Part of the reason that guns are viewed the way that they are by society is because you have teachers like this that flip out at the mere sight of a thing that they think is a gun that they are so averse to it that they freak out at the slightest... I mean, you can say the word gun and they'll, like, duck and cover. And because of that, and because they treat this as some kind of giant traumatic event that all these kids should be traumatized over, and they, they make them write letters and give them counseling and all this stuff, th because they make it a big deal, the kids believe it's a big deal even though they initially did it. The kid, you know, could be like, well, it's, you know, just a BB gun, not a big deal. But they try to convince the kid that it's a bigger deal than it is, and so the kid plays into that because that's what he's being told by the adults in the room. And so this whole thing is absurd, but ultimately the goal of it is to teach kids to be afraid of guns, anybody with any kind of gun, even if the gun isn't dangerous or they're not in danger. 
You see, that's kind of underlying the whole gun control debate in America anyway. It's not that most of the people that support gun control are in danger of being shot by anybody or that they are in danger of, of having, they don't see guns on a regular basis, they're not threatened by guns or anything. It's merely the phantom idea that there is a person out there that has a gun that might potentially hurt them, even though they're a good person and would never hurt anybody, that alone is enough to make them afraid, and they're trying to teach these kids to do the same. The, the mere idea that a person has a gun should scare them. And that's what they're trying to do here. A recent survey showed that the average American spends, I kid you not, eight seconds reading a news story before either commenting on it or sharing it. That means that most people are barely finishing the headline before spouting out an opinion on content they didn't actually watch or read. Therefore, if you are watching this and made it to the end of this video, congratulations. You are, as Bernie Sanders would say, the 1%. So now it's totally appropriate to like and subscribe.